Hey, good afternoon. Uh, like they said, I'm, I work for a local contractor here, uh, Milestone Contractors. We're part of the Heritage Group that's the uh, gold sponsor or whatever here today. And I'd like to talk to you a little bit about the, uh, the American Concrete Paving Association. Um, all right, so we're 200 contractor members across the United States. We have 15 cement companies that are part of our group, 60 plus equipment companies, and a federation of 17 chapters, and a team of several engineers. That I do know. <laughs> we are the ACPA is the only national trade associate, association dedicated solely to concrete pavement. And I know a lot of you guys are asphalt guys out there, but I know a lot, also a lot of you out there are double-breasted. Our, our strategic plan that we laid out a couple of years ago when we got a new president and CEO uh, talked about increasing the understanding of the concrete plays in sustainability and, re and resiliency. We also wanted to bring along long-term solutions to environmental needs and increase the uh, impact of low bid on sustainability and workforce. We work with policy and decision makers in Washington, D.C. to impact con what the MK ah, I'm sorry, what the positive impact of concrete pavement can have on our environment. We do lots of training and workshops. Uh, two of our best training and workshops is our annual meeting and our mid-year meeting. There is so much, there's so much information that goes on during those two meetings that uh, if you have any question about P501 paving and airports, uh, it's super, 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 super informative. I have been going there for over 20 years. I learned something at every single one of these. We, we work with committees and task groups on problems that contractors have. If you're having a problem with a pavement, we have people both at the state level, and I should mention our state level two reps, John Lecky and Pat Long from the in Indiana Department or ACPA. They work with local contractors to help them through issues that they might have when they're out paving. We have an engineering staff. Uh, Gary Mitchell is an on-site guy who comes out on site. He actually helped one of our contractors here in, in, uh, in Indiana uh, with a bunch of work with the uh, FAA. They had, they had some issues. Uh, they, they got these issues resolved and ended up saving him them somewhere in a range of uh, four to five hundred thousand dollars in repair work that was unnecessary that was being uh, advocated by the FAA. Uh, we do four markets of technical service, airports, highways and local streets, and direct agency assistance. We also help with chapter affiliation support. The first, the second quarter of 2023, we had cost savings and opportunities of over $2 million to contractors and to end result users. Where ACPA also participates in FWHA, Sustainable Pavements Technical Working Group. We talk with them, I will say on a daily basis about pavement designs and where we're moving with EPDs and all the other wonderful uh, PEM and other, all, all the different uh, problems that they're coming up with that uh, we're trying to solve for them. ACPA also sits on the MIT Sustainable Hub Technical Advisory C Committee where we help inform and guide MIT's pavement sustainability research. We're working with FEMA to help them after storms go through to help identify roadways that if if we put them back in in concrete, they can uh, maybe fare a little bit better next time around. In our lobbying efforts, you'll hear the young man speak next from the CP Tech Center. We've worked and gotten three to five million dollars in funds over the past seven years to fund the CP Tech Center that does constant research to help our pavements become more sustainable. We do, uh, we're working on it right now with coal ash and comments submitted in July that uh, commented on a, a change in a federal rule that can impact availability and pricing of fly ash for our members. And we also have worked with Congress on the, on the, the, the bill, uh, BIL. I, I'm not really good with all these uh, acronyms. I, I, I hate them actually. <laughs> uh, 
We did a white paper on sustainability. It was brought out last January. Uh, it basically talks about how, how concrete can be part of a sustainable future. It addresses EPDs and, and its relationship to resiliency. And resiliency and sustainability are connected. You know, the, the federal highway right now has come out with, and I'm sure all you guys are well aware of it, of the EPDs and the regulations that they want to see us push to all, all of our pavements to be more resilient and more sustainable. Uh, we work with all those things. We look at long life solutions for extreme weather conditions and concrete pavement intensity and duration. We're also looking for a healthy competition that shows it lowers overall costs. If there's competition in a state between the pavement selections, we, we see that it's better for the taxpayer. Me as a taxpayer, I want to see the best possible prices for all of our pavements. There are two big upcoming ACPA events. One is the, the airport workshop, October 24th to the 26th in Denver, Colorado. It'll contain sessions on updates on specifications, specifically P501. It'll show best practices, and then you'll get a tour of the Denver in, uh, International Airport runway job. They're currently working on two runways out there right now. Our 60th annual uh, convention is in Marco Island this year, and uh, included in one of the panel's discussions will be uh, Department of Transportation executives that are gonna sit down and talk about how they handle pavements and pavement selections in all of their states. Um, it's, a phenomenal, it's a phenomenal meeting. There's, if you need uh, CPUs, you can get them at this meeting. And outside of that, I don't think I have much else to say. If you want to take a picture to find out about our annual meeting, there's a code and also one for the airport workshop. Uh, is there any questions? All right, thank you very much, appreciate it.